So for today's video, I'm filming in a slightly different location. You'll have to let me know how you feel about it. I've just got this kind of storage unit, I suppose you'd call it. They're just these kind of little cubes that you attach together. And I've got kind of books and little ornaments and bits and bobs. The space isn't finished. I've still got a couple of things that I'm waiting for to arrive. But I thought for my kind of um, chatty videos and that kind of thing, I could have this as my background and then keep the kind of plain background for tutorials and beauty videos and that kind of thing. Change it around. I don't know. Let me know what you think about it. But I wanted to talk to you today a little bit about um, body image because we haven't had one of these videos in a while. And I feel like I'm like saying to you, we haven't had a chat in a while. Um, but I wanted to talk about the concept of body image being in your head versus the reality. Because a lot of people have messaged me saying that they really, really struggle with body image, but that they really struggle to understand why I have body image issues. And it's something that I know you can kind of see a lot of the time when you've got female friends is that they can be beautiful and gorgeous and they've got insecurities that you don't understand and you can't see what is wrong with them. So basically what I'm talking about today is, is your body image problem in your head? Are you imagining it or is it in fact an actual physical problem? And the answer to that usually tends to be it is just in your head because I don't know how, how easy um, it is to kind of look at it from a really, really objective point of view because we are kind of ruled by our issues and we all really, really struggle with them. But the reality of it is, is that the problems that you see, nine times out of ten, aren't going to be as bad and what everyone else sees isn't going to be as harsh and as critical as what you see. And you see it a lot of time with, if you have male friends, that they can't understand why you would possibly have any body image problems but you kind of look at yourself and think how can you think that can't you see my blah 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 can't you see how this look can't you see how that looks and it's usually because we're so preoccupied with it that we presume that everyone else can see it as well and I definitely think controversial statement coming here that body image usually is in our heads it's in our minds it's a frame of mind and it's something that you need to work really hard to kind of get over and to know that it's just in your head now, um, the mirror that I've got in my bedroom is a kind of oval mirror, so it's a very flattering mirror. Now, I always think it's a skinny mirror because I look at my mirror at home and I feel like, yeah, that looks okay, and then I'll go out and see myself in another mirror and it's not so good. And then I always think, right, it's because my boyfriend's deliberately, he bought this mirror when we moved in here, and I think, well, he's bought that mirror because he wants me to think that I look skinny. And he just looks at it and thinks, it's a mirror, you know, it's not any different to any other mirror. But because we're so kind of occupied with it, you know in your head what you really look like. And that's why kind of I think we love makeup and we love clothes so much and being able to change and that kind of thing. Because you can make yourself be the version of yourself that you want to be the most. And that is something that's really exciting and really fantastic. But at the same time, I think it can be quite dangerous because you end up kind of, you end up being really really preoccupied with it and it just isn't a nice thing to be thinking about all the time but I definitely definitely think that as a concept and as a general idea body image is usually in your head because the humongous bits of cellulite that you're looking at chances are most people aren't really that fussed about and they don't really care about your cellulite and you just think that everyone's looking at it and thinking oh my god look, look at her cellulite have you ever looked at someone and thought oh my god look at her cellulite not really you're kind of not really that bothered about it and we always think that everyone else is thinking all these negative thoughts when in reality we're the only ones that are thinking these really really negative horrible thoughts now when it starts to become a problem, I think, is when you are convinced that that is the reality. And that's kind of how I feel. Like, there are so many things that I won't wear because I know, for example, that, you know, I haven't got the legs for shorts. That's just the reality. I don't feel like I'm kind of making out, um, like I need you to feel sorry for me or anything. I just know that it doesn't work for my figure. But somebody else could look at me who maybe is like two sizes bigger than me and think, what are you talking about? You're fine in shorts. I'm the one that's got a problem with shorts. Whereas I could look at them and think, yeah, but you're really tall and you've got slim legs. It'll look great on you. We can't objectify it. And when you're looking at your own body image, you're the most critical and the least objective you could possibly be. So what's the solution? Do you find someone you trust? Do you trust the mirror? But you know that the reflection you're seeing in the mirror probably is more flawed than in reality? 
or do you go and believe what other people are telling you that you feel like you don't really believe so if someone says you look great and you're having a really bad day you kind of will still think no I'm not I look terrible because it's in our heads and that's the thing once you get it out of your head and you get your head sorted how much happier can you be and that's something that I really 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 want to work on this year and I'm going to do a lot of reading about it and I'm going to try and kind of do more videos like this and kind of talk about it more in depth and that kind of thing and I'd love any input that you've got about that type of thing because it's something that obviously I struggle with and I know so many of you out there struggle with and I think it'll be really beneficial if we can try and help each other over it a little bit in 2014. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've got any other topics and that kind of thing you want me to do with these, always, always leave them in the comments below because as I said, I do struggle to come up with the woman to woman topics and I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time. Bye.